All right, here we go with another installment of our uh, radial engine video. Our engine, whatever's going on here. This is uh, the shape of our block. We figured this all out and everything. Hold up, Mike, while you're doing that. Let me show them what we're doing. Mike is laying it out on a piece of wood here. We already got some cut. Yeah. Stand them up, Mike. Show them what that is. They're, they're the sides. We're, we're cutting yeah, the sides right now. Short sides here, 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 and up here. Right. Look Grab here. a couple of heads. Show, show where the head's going. Is it in your order? No, nah, I don't mind. No, nah, no, there's no order. Then we still got to make the side the plates to hold them. Right. Right, they're going to sit. There we go. One more, one more, buddy. All right. So there, that's that's where our cylinders are, and then the. All right. And there's going to be. It's going to be connected here. by these plates here. Now there's going to be, uh, plates, quarter inch plates here too, also. Right. But the cylinders going to be welded too, so. So that's where we're at. Working on cutting those now. We still got to cut more, and then this this big plate here we got to cut. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's where we're at. It's, uh, if we can see anything more interesting, we'll show you. But right now, that's it. You know, it's all. That's why it's taking so long because it's all production. We got to make all these little parts, and we can't put them together until we got all these little parts. Yeah, this one's got uh, probably the most heavy fabrication out of all of them. Not so much machining, right? Um, but a lot of just cutting and then welding and manufacturing from scratch. Right, right. Yeah, before with the other engines, we had the parts already made, and we just had to modify them. Mm -hmm. But this is a... Uh, you know, all the connecting rods are going to be made from scratch. The, the crank is, is slightly modified, but the, the the main rod bearing is made from scratch. So there's a lot, a lot of stuff to do. So, this is a horse of a different color, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Enough of this. Enough of this corny shit. All right, we got the three little sides made. And we got uh, one, one of the wide sides that holds the head. Right. These are gonna have to get drilled, of course, for the for the uh, right, connecting big rod board. and all the valves and all that stuff. But they just provide a good solid base for the cylinder to mount. Hmm. And we got another one cutting on the bandsaw now. Yeah, let me check it out. We got one over here on a bandsaw. We got laying power cutting it flat because it's a little quieter. You know, if we straighten it, if we put it on end, it would cut. But it, it makes a lot of noise. So it takes a little longer, but you know, we like the peace and quiet. Alright. Alright, let me show you what we're gonna do now. Uh see the little foot, got a little foot on it here. Well then we're gonna cut that off because we really don't need that and it's just gonna get in the way. Plus it's it's gonna look odd. See the way it's got it comes out, it's got like a little indent there. Well, we're going to get rid of that. It's funny how these castings really aren't identical. See, like this one. I don't have my remote, so I can't zoom in for you. But see, you got a nice indent here under the valve cover there. And this one here it actually comes out past. You know, so this one here is going to be a little tricky. So I don't mess up that uh, the valve cover seat there. But anyway, we're going to cut these two off. I already did this one here. It came out pretty good. And I'll show you how I did that, so not to hack it to pieces. When we weld these on, we're going to weld these on to the plate. That's going to be the plate. And that's going to be welded on. But you'll be able to cover that gap. We'll be able to fill that gap in. That's no problem. But uh, let me throw you guys in the vise over there and we'll show you how we uh, cut that so it doesn't look too bad. Alright. Right, I got the cylinder in the block now. Now I'm just going to give myself a, a rough guide. Uh, I want to make it flush with this thing here. So I'm only going to use a pencil because I can see the pencil. I don't know what's going to show up like on the, the camera there. But uh, that'll just give me a rough idea. If I stay above that, I'll be fine. All I'm going to do is I'm going to start the cut with a hacksaw. But I, when you weren't looking here, I lowered this down to make it just slightly below 
the the head of the vise there. So I can't cut lower than I want to. I could cut this whole thing by hand, but I'm not gonna. I just want to give myself a guide. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move this over here so it's closer to the edge of the vise. Okay. I could have hacked it off with, uh, you know, just a cutoff wheel like this, you know, and just, uh, that would have got me there and uh, did the job. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, air hacksaw. You know, I could use a sawzall, but I got a little, little more uh, control over this. Some of you guys might not have seen one of these, but a lot of body men, we used to use these to cut off. Uh, sheet metal fenders and stuff like that. Of a, a pretty aggressive file here. I moved you guys over here because you're in my way. So now I'm just gonna file it down. probably overkill. I mean it's you're gonna weld on it and it'd probably be good just fine just the way it was but uh, what the heck if you're gonna do something I'll do it right. Okay just a little more.
Okay. Let me file that down a little more and then I'll, I'll show you when I'm done. Alright, that's where we want it. There's a, a slight indentation here, but you can't feel it. You know, it's just it's just a casting. And there's no need for me to go any further. I could. I could make out a perfectly machined surface, but I won't. Uh, maybe may clean up the edge here a little bit. Just to shape it. Because it'll be easier to shape now than when it's on the machine or when it's all it's all put together. Okay. That's actually pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay. So that's two down. So there you go. Remember, the file is your friend. 